<sighs> Good morning everybody. As you can see here up on the, the bush mission with Adrian again. You can hear the cicadas and we just headed in for a two-nighter, maybe a three. Going to a new spot. Not very far from where we did our tarp video this time last year. Nice big fat bird. So we're just stopping for a bit of a rest. No hurry. And uh, there's Adrian over there. Hi Adrian. Say good day everyone. Sweating. Doing a bit of a rest. So Adrian was up here about two weeks ago. How many times have you been up here since we were last up here? How many times have you been uh, up here? Twice fishing and once hunting about a week and a half ago. Got two hinds, but they were really skinny, so so many deer around, they're just skinny as. So I thought I'd just show my bare arms to scare them off this time. Can't talk hot tide. There we go. Can't. Oh. <laughs> Can't talk, but... No. Oh. So he's having a bit of a rest. And just across the river here is where we had our camp last time where we did our week of two tents and the tarp just across here so we're on the track here heading this way here going past the hut our campsite from last trip just up down to those trees that's an adrian way walked up all those hills there easy is so i haven't uh what i was going to say now I haven't done any video on YouTube for a while now, so I'm not used to it. So Adrian's going to have the camera in his face, but I've got to let him know that I'm not filming. But here's, look at this, got some supple jack. I'll pick some of that. Little pieces here. Cook up for Adrian later on, stir fry it up. There's a few pieces here, so in the supple jack country here. So grabbed a few, hopefully it's going to last. Got nowhere to buddy put it though. We just had a nice little break, cool down, body's cooled down. Feel like a spring chicken again. And Adrian walks like a spring chicken. Up there, or, or a duck. See? Yeah, I'm actually filming him too. Well, he's doing that. Looks like he's got a... Uh, looks like he's trying to get the old brown sigma out of the old garage there. So here we are at the river. Probably here's a bit of wind. There's a bit of a breeze coming, coming up the river here. Right, see you guys soon. Your camera away. See the ripples on the water there from the wind. Mm, little shoes. So we're nearly at the hut, which is just up here. We've camped a couple of times. We're going to be heading past there. Here we are. Here's the old hut. You guys remember this place? Pardon? It's one over here. Here we are. Let's have a look. Remember this place? We're going to rest for a little bit and then carry on to our spot. I'm going to get some water. Oh, 
right. So, pushing upstream for fish watermelon from shore. And the Ollie, three people, four people on the 12th, which was yesterday. Hopefully we'll be able to find a spot there out of the wind for us to camp tonight and tomorrow night. The wind's supposed to be gone by tomorrow. So there's a spot here, we're going to see what it's like. We're going to head back to another spot which is out of the wind to set our tents up. So we're nearly there. It's about two hours, two and a half hour mission so far. Here, and then one in here. That's about ours in there, eh? And we're sheltered, so no wind here. Yeah, no wind, eh? No wind. I can't believe all the building tracks just down here, eh? Like you can see them in here. Stag just like right here. Fresh ass tracks right down by the river. If you can hide them here somewhere, because they, they come out of here too. And that's, that stag lives around the corner. Big so, big prints, quite fresh too. So, it's better off hiding over there though. Get your pack off. The old legs are a bit sore, man. Oh. Oh man, it feels like that feels better. Oh yeah. 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 Not really, eh? There's a spot for one. And then I could just put one over here. So it's lit enough. So we're back under the trees, we're gonna be we'll sit under these trees there. It's really nice in here, nice and cool, there's no wind. Adrian's found him a spot over there, and I'm going to have my little spot over here. It's a good spot, Adrian. We'll cut these supple jacks down so they don't strangle ourselves. Yeah, we'll find a way, a better path, cut a better path out straight out here, Mikey. Look, straight out. Yeah, we've got to walk, walk around there, right, eh, at, at night, through here. We're looking a good spot, eh? Look at this spot. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it a lot. <laughs> I'm pretty easy, please, as long as the ground's flat. So you've got heaps of bim and deer shit here. So we have the wind here and we have the out of view from out of view from people. You could even hunt up the back here. So we can get some stacks coming down here. So we been looking uh, outside here, the tree line, inside here, the tree line to find us a fat area for our two tents and keep out of the wind too is a big thing, the wind and it's a lot cooler in here. So I think we found the spot, put our two tents up. The other thing too is um, looking at the tents Yeah. I like it, Adrian. You are. Then you've got a little entry here, exit here. You clear that up. You go past there. You can hang up your toilet roll. Yep. Stealth mode too. Here it was. Away. Yep. And all this. And this is just loose. Look, this is just loose. Away. Okay. Right, back to you guys soon. We're going to clear this little area here. We're going to set our tents up. It's nice and flat anyway, Adrian. Yeah, it's good. And they get itchy from the grass down there. Itchy bites. Yep. Right. Get your tent out. Bottom of the bottom of the bag. Pack. Eggs. My lunch or my food bag. Towel. There's my tent. Up. The scene. I've got part of one tent and part of the other tent. There's part of the tent here. Always at the bottom. Here we are. 
like to get. You got your poles, I noticed. Oh yeah. Look, it's still brand new out of the bag. Oh yeah. All right. Let's get the old tents up. Yeah, if you move it on a bit of an angle, right. So, what do you guys think about that? There's our tent set up. We finally figured out which way to put our tent so we've got enough room to get in and out. So we're not going to use our guy ropes, we've just got our ropes that are hanging off off the outer, but we're not putting any guy ropes out. There's not much room for those, so... And there's our tarp, there's Adrian. There's Adrian's little entry point there. There's his little bassinet tent. He's going to go in there and... He's going in. And there's mine. So I've got my entrance over here, so... Nice little spot. Let us think about that. So we're going to set up our sleeping bags and stuff. And I bought my foam, my little foam mattress as well as my blow-up mattress. A little foamy here. A bit of extra comfort. Yeah, heaps of room in here. You can put your pack in here. Everything you can fit in here. Oh, Adrian, look, there he is. Too much room. I got all my shit in here too. Got too much room. Uh, too much room. Top two. Hello, beautiful. So that brings a tarp. We're probably not going to use that. Extra weight. Oh. There's my sleeping pad and my sleeping bag. Got a lot of water, right? Here we are. Kmart mattress and my Kmart foamy under there as well, just to give a bit of a extra extra comfort. Oh, a bit more air in there. Mm. Kmart. And my Kmart sleeping bag, twenty-eight dollars. This one, good for summer. Sleeping bag. I'll just sit with it open like that. And some look at that. What are you doing? Look at that. Pouring the shit out of it. And that was quick. Oh, yeah. Fit, mate, Michael. It's your favourite, eh? There's little things crawling around in your water. Mm. Here he is. Get the sun out here. Look where we are. We're in this perfect little spot here. Yeah. 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 Put them all through here, actually. Yeah. I'll, I'll hey. So I've got a really good sleeping pillow. Adrian got one of him, him as well. This is from AliExpress. Check out the size of this pillow. These are the best pillows out. Better than anything else. What these cost? Uh, but twenty something dollars. $20 or something like that. Look at smaller compacts up to and it's so soft inside. See, look at this pillow, it's so soft. The blow up pillow. 
And there's some material inside, see that's quite soft too, eh? That material in there. Yeah, you just wrap this around your sleeping pad and having a good pillow is you could have a pillow man, it's just otherwise you're gonna have a crappy night's sleep. And while I'm here, because Adrian just reminded me that was a Kmart thing, wasn't it? It's so little, here it is. Look. No, I'm alright, thanks. Sipping bag liner. So we use that on that. We use it on that pad there so it doesn't slip. And it feels like you're at home, sitting on your bed at home. Not sipping on plastic. Chair that uh, Adrian made me. This is from Kilo Gear. I bought one yesterday, I ordered one online for 10% off, it was $101. So, Adrian's had his chair for quite a while now. How many months, Adrian, had your chair for? Four months. And he's used, used it quite a bit. In the mud and everything. And so, and he's got similar weight to me. And it's rated for 150 kilo. You've got some beautiful little uh, legs here, or bits on your legs so it doesn't sink into the sand, into soft ground which a lot of chairs don't. My previous chair from AliExpress didn't have these. And I'll show you some photos of my chair now from AliExpress, which are pretty crap, because the sleeve and hair failed miserably. It was rated for 150 kilo, and top of this leg here went straight through the fabric and ripped it, so the chair was crap. This chair here is also rated for 150 kilo. But this one looks way sturdier. And on Kilo Gear's website, had some good reviews about this chair. I think it weighs about one kilo, or maybe a bit under. Easy to set up, and this is saves sitting on the ground. So a big thank you to Adrian. Last time we went camping here, his chair. I had in there my chair. I'd order it, but his chair turned up first. AliExpress, and I'll sit on the ground. Is it the right way around? No, upside down. It's one way around. But thanks for letting me know after I put it on. <laughs> I just noticed it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, should have a front and a back. But these old sleeves here look pretty sturdy. Yeah, it's sort of a rubbery plastic, aren't they? You find a lot of people that you know, most people weigh over 100 kilo, the average person probably, you know, I won't even put it in there, but those, there those are made in America, and people average over 100 kilo there. He's now got to try the test, you watch it, you watch it break. Watch this, we can sit in here, and here we have it. I'm going to lean back really slowly, not too far though. And there we have it, there's our lovely chair. You can do all our cooking like this, cook here, rather than sit on the ground where you're doing cooking and you're sitting down on a mat and you're getting a sore bum. But look at this, see? Isn't this good? A little camping chair while you're camping. Weighs a kilo and well worth it. Oh, I didn't push a cord. Didn't you? Oh. I got some uh, Alfredo pasta. I don't eat pasta normally, but it's nice and light food to take up here. Chicken curry. I've got a few uh, sachets of electrolytes, which I bought yesterday. Got a few coffees in here. Got my coffee powder, milk powder. There's a bit of drizzle out there. I just feel a little bit coming in what on top here, right? but we are so lucky here. A bit of drizzle, you guys can't see it, but. Did bring the tarp in case we uh, want to put the tarp up. What? Now we'll do the coffee. You, you got a mosquito in there? Coffee. I've got some. Want some? What's that? Oh, salt and pepper. The color color seasoning. Where's my powdered milk? It's in the bag. That's right. And oh, here it is, I can feel it, my powdered milk, got a kilo, look at that, this should last a couple of, couple of days. Now, coffee, the old APG stove, 
pouring our water. Is he? He's aging. His first night in the piscina. Look at the room in there, eh? So much room. Agent's uh, probably a bit taller than me, and he's stretching out quite nicely there with heaps of room. Yeah. And the headroom's good. You guys think of our carpet. Agent calls it uh, X pile carpet. But I love these chairs. Oh, X Minster, sorry. Yeah. But man, I love these chairs. They're so good. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have a cup of coffee. A bit of powdered milk. The old coffee there. And then a bit extra coffee as well to give it a bit of nice flavour. It's got quite cool. It's summer, but man, we've put the old warm clothes on. See, we've got a little walkway out. Oh man. This is probably our best camping spot ever. And the deer, we're just out there, some big, big prints out there. Like a big stag or something's been hanging around. Big poo just down here. Not too very far to walk to our, our spot to go for a hunt. There we go. Here's our camp. Oh, water's boiling. Kmart knife and spoon and fork set. This is a great, great little set. This one, nice and sturdy. Good size spoon, good fork. Got your spoon in your knife. Kmart, Kmart special. Cheers everyone and welcome to the new video. Extra lights in here, but you guys remember this plate, the famous blue plate. Has it been used for a while, especially on video? It's another AliExpress battery charger here, so I can USB this one. These little power bank so I can um, charge up GoPros with it. my two GoPros here I can charge up my GoPro uh, charge up my phone I can charge up my Canon G7X Mark II this comes with um, double battery in there charging USB so you don't have to worry about having your flat batteries and I've also got three batteries so won't run out of battery and we also have here my Aliexpress headlamp. I've got two of these, they're good. I actually got one for Adrian as well. This 
a really good torch, really bright. It's got a little thing here as well. You can put that on and you can see it, wave it on or little sensor mode on. That's on spotlighting from that you can just when you're crossing over some rough parts, put it on. Good eh? Good light this one eh, for the um, yeah, price. Yeah. It's a really good light. It's just light. Around the, camp, around the camp, eh? Yeah. And it's USB, so you're never gonna just gonna touch it up on here every night and you're gonna never gonna have a flat head torch. And it's light as well, really light. Look at that. Off, on, off, on, see? Little sensor. So I bought yeah, three of these. Great. USB is the only way to be now, I think with USB. Don't use many batteries anymore, especially at places like this. USB is the way to go. And that is my gears. But yeah, it's a lifesaver. I love that and I really love this double battery charger USB. Nothing's worse than having crap batteries. And also, I've got my phone as well, watching movies later on. Two batteries in here. I've got one here and my camera. I've got a spare one in my camera bag. The sun's out now. Right, so here's the other light bulbs. I've got two of these from Kmart. I always bring up a few spare batteries as well. I've got one. So oh, your light? Yeah, well, I've, got, I've got my torch, I've got my headlamp. I've got one headlamp. I've got one you can put in your tent. Oh, I probably won't need it actually. Put the ambience. So look at that, off, on, on, off, on. And you get that sort of strobe light before you go hunting. Turn on the strobe light <laughs> effect. <laughs> and you'd be going hunting, you'd be able to see the deer easier. Don't walk around this at night time though. Look at that, see? Yeah. A couple of those. Hang one out here somewhere in the one on my tent. For the old ambience. Gotta have a bit of ambience when you're camping. Man, I can't believe the room on this thing. Go let's see. The old Bacina tent. Got so much going for them. The room, mainly the room, yeah, the is the room biggest is thing. I mean, it's not a winter tent, but it's um, it's yeah. like for, um, I don't know when you're coming in at all. Good summer tent, eh? Yeah. It does get to the mesh. It doesn't start to quite high up. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a review on this tents maybe tomorrow. We're going to do some reviews yeah. for you guys. As you're we'll sipping it, eh? We'll and then see how they sleep. See how it goes tonight. We'll do some reviews on, um, here, as I said, um, on these chairs. Look at this. These chairs are so good. Wow. Last camp we were up here with Adrian Noyne, he had a little blow up mat and it had a hole in it, it kept on going down every 10 seconds and it was, <laughs> we're talking here, I was getting a sore bum, sore back sitting on this log edging on his chair, he's sitting there and I was going, I'm so jealous <laughs> and he looks so comfortable and I'm sitting there on the freaking ground but look at this, you got to have a chair my pillow is doing his duty too pardon? my pillow is doing his duty is it? Oh. Yeah, I'll tell you what yeah. Good, eh? Oh. It's so comfortable. You've got to be, be in comfort when you're camping. You want to be oh. bimming. Yeah, for the extra, extra two or three kilos to carry in, comfort. Exactly. Such an old bastard like me. You need comfort. You never sit here and you're having a bimming bad experience because uh, you're doing to carry some stuff in that you're going to use. You ever thought of using camping chairs for camping? No. There's another light bulb gone. Got bloody stuff everywhere. What have I got in here? First aid kit. Full of paper. Here's some um insect repellent Adrian. Got some more uh, cord. Got a cord as well. Personal hygiene, deodorant, toothbrush, extra pegs in case I need them for something. You never know. 
got my tarp here, not using it at the moment, but we still could use it. Just a pain in the butt putting it up, don't really need it. Just going to duty the tents a little bit. Yeah, I think it's two light bulbs. That's it. Put my beanie up in case I get cold. Some socks. Over it is here. Another light bulb. So we can set one up out here somewhere as well. Double ambience. Anyway, so I'm going to have my coffee. Pretty nice. Cheers, everyone. This camera is better going flat. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh that's nice. Right, all set. We'll change the battery in this camera. Ooh. Gone flat already, I only put it in this morning. Ooh. All my gears in a plastic bag, all my electronic gear. Ooh. Okay, back to you guys soon. Sun's out. So what I've got here, I've got the 1.4 litre APG, this one here from APG, they gave it to me, so you can fit this gas bottle here inside when you're travelling, it's a bit heavier than carrying the 750ml one that I would normally use, the best thing about this APG 1.4 litre one is you don't have to go and get water all the time, so enough water in here that lasts three or four cups of coffee which is great good yeah got a nice scope on the what's your scope on the bush look see Adrian's a uh, lefty there see shooting stick how long you hit your rifle for I don't know if there's a bit your rifle about 12 years. And what sort of rifle are you using? This is a 2506. A um, bit like a 243, slightly more powerful. Yeah. Uh, it's, the barrel, all the steel work has been um, ceramic coated thanks to my son. And he took the scope off it and I put this Bushnell on, 12 power. Um, only cost me 350 bucks, which was a really good buy. And that's it. <laughs> a really mm. good buy it was, yeah. How many deer you shot with that rifle? Oh, probably you know? 20, 18, 20. And um, before this I had a 6.5. I slayed a lot of deer with that. I had that 6.5 for about 15, 20 years. You throw it in the water. Use it for a walking stick, always went bang. And you fix up the trigger system on there that yeah, two your pounds, son had a bit light, two pounds. Yeah. And it's got no play at all. So once you touch it it goes it goes bang. My son put a um, suppressor on it. So I've still got the I can put a suppressor on. Oh hell. I can put a suppressor on if I want to. I still may put one on yet. 
Yeah. They look, look quite dear, they're about $600. But they look cool though. They look cool. Camo one. Camo one, yeah. Camo the shooting stick is good. Thank you, Adrian. It's a shooting stick there. Also a walking stick. Yeah. Heavy of course, it's a river stick. And it goes like that. Just, oh, there's one you go like that. Oh. Where? Oh. Over there, that rock. Yeah. There you go. He's like, well, I can't keep still up here. He's got ADHD or something like that. Look at this buddy, things brought already. It's so quick. It's so windy out there, we're in for a bit of a walk. Uh, Adrian and I just to check out a couple of areas that have been known for deer. Shot a deer there about two weeks ago. No one had this for probably my first day pack, had this for at least 30 years. Was oh, that right? Yeah. Oh. It's been um, sewn up. Rats got into it. No, yeah. Bastards. Bloody dirty rats. It's probably during day, just put your shit in here. What brand's that? Uh, that one's like. Gee, I think it's. Um, back in the days when the brands were awesome. Uh, say, oh, Day Hunter. Never heard of it. Heard Are of they it. still around? Day Hunter from Stony Creek. Oh, Stony Creek. Here you go. One of they still make those. How many litres is that one? 25 litres or something? Bloody old bars. Okay, little fella. I've got some hot water here, Adrian, if you want some. Cooked in the APG gas stove. 1.4 litre gas stove from APG. Oh, they've got the same thing. This guy's does, freaking me out, man, with his... Look. I've got two different types. i got He's got the same one. He's got the same orange caps. This is weird, man. Right. Walk the same. You're a weirdo. Both are deer, <laughs> deer legs at the bottom. Holy heck. Hey, both are deer legs. Can I add more coffee to this? Yeah, I do too. It's not strong enough. And sugar. Powder milk. Oh. Oh, children like that. See? Ready to go. I don't know why I put all in back in here when I need it. I think my idea. See? Yeah, we for a bit of a walk just before and it's so freaking windy out there. But it is rather delightful here, isn't it? Oh, it's bloody nice. A wooden break of yours, sort of helping. Got hot water, Adrian? Yeah. There's coffee and sugar in the hut too, I noticed. Oh, I've got plenty of water Good in my Yep. I've got some cold water so I can drink it. Oh, iron lungs. I thought doesn't bother you drinking, um, oh, a bit. Eh? Getting, um... Got more for the first, this one. Getting a bit ten year old age. So I'm filming today's video with the Canon G7X Mark II. I've got another one. And she shoots really good footage. Look at Adrian's spoon. Look at that. Look at the Kmart special. It's cold, isn't it? Well, Too cold. Too cold now. Some more mm. yours on your heart, but he's low tide. Yeah, no, I did. I'm not that thirsty. Then I have to add another sachet of coffee. I've got about no. 12 sachets. Ah, it's nice. It's missing though. You guessed it. Missing a bit of the old special MP milk powder. Heroin. Some Charlie. Okay. A bit of Charlie. I just swallow a stick. Put into my cup. <laughs> oh, look at that. It adds flavour to it. I was thinking, did I bring enough milk powder? Well, I bought that a while, but it Maybe not. Enough, yeah, I, I went off it. I don't like the taste. I spilled my coffee. But it tastes better now. It tastes like milk. It's real. Where's your, where's your condensed milk? Are you going to bring any up? No. She's so fast here. This hat, when you were over there before, it's all I could see was the hat. I saw you coming towards me, all yeah. I could see was your hat. Place to be safe, man. Yeah. And the wine I used to wear them. I've got a little um, hive of the same colour, it's a small one, that I used to wear all the time. You never know, you can come up here and come me up here, oh. you would never know. And you wouldn't expect to see somebody in the bush, would you? The time when they tarped here, the young fellow walked past. We'd have gone past, suddenly one of us stood up, we might have panicked. 
I've seen that type. Mm. Yeah, the little guy. The little bit. You've got a little footprints up this area. Fishing, though, can see footprints there that are fishing. Little feet. No hunters. Last hunter was um, a week ago. Welcome back. We've just been down to the river and getting ourselves some rocks, stones to make ourselves a bit of a cooking area. Got some nice little rocks there, some fat rocks. I'll grab a couple more, eh, while you're doing that. I'm going to put a little area over here. Cooking area. So I'll grab some more from down there. And then, right here, and then, over right there, like that. See here, and round that way. I'll put a big one on the top here, see? So what we're doing here, making a bit of a little fireplace, as you guys will probably be aware, but also, when we're cooking with our little cooking stoves, you've got a frying pan on top. Just stops the frying pan from coming off. Your frying pan's got to try and sit on something like this. And we've got food in it, easy to tip off, so... This just gives you some where you can lean your... Lean your, uh, frying pan handle. That. Within what, half an hour, we made ourselves a little fireplace. Look at that. Sit down now. We're cold now, we're hot. <laughs> so we can put our little frying pans there. We'll just see what that, see? Ooh. You can put your plate on here when you're dishing up your kai and stuff. A nice little flat rock, it's safe as. Tents over here. And we just pan to the left, and there's this humongous tree there, right there. It's going all the way up, 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 high as. Oh. Back over here. Sock holder. What's going to rain? Yep. I'm a, um, I'm just the tent and do reading. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Is that blue and blue tarp? That just made the whole tent turn that away. Today, you're welcome. Hey! Check it over there. I'm behind the house, how's that? It's getting dark now, it's going to be scary soon. Time, 4 o'clock. Well, 3 hours before it's 0 o'clock. Uh, 7, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Oh, oh man. Hmm? Oh, it's cool enough to hang the deer in here. Yeah. Lots of spots to hang it though. That branch there, we've got to really line it up. I'm going to get more string. I've got some here next time I want to make. What? Put a branch across between those two trees there to hang our meat on. Oh, yeah. In fact, you can do it now, aren't you? Slowly and cheese. Was here then? Right, 
just having a bit of a lie in the old tents. A bit of a rest. Rest the old weary body. Might even watch a bit of a video, maybe. <coughs> yeah, man, so much room in here. Can you see the flies on yours? Yeah. I just. Name, yeah? You got your flaps open? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Only the front flaps. I can see you through my flaps. <laughs> Have a look through your door, Adrian. See if I can see through. Uh, see, I can see through my flaps. See? <laughs> Here he is. He's got his flaps. <laughs> 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 I'm not a flap. Had my other zip. The zip here was uh, open. But yeah, man, there's so much room in here. Look, sit up here. <laughs> yeah. It is a really good tent, but it's just not waterproof. Well, my last one wasn't waterproof. So we're going to give this a bit of a test. <clears throat> but we're not getting any rain, or well, no rain in here anyway. I got my piston too, Michael. Oh, you bought it? Yep. Nice. And you've got this little bottle, up and doesn't have to get outside and do it. <laughs> oh, and do's it. Room, buddy. Step, sit up and feed. You can just probably uh, kneel in here and oh yeah. I don't know where that bob's gone. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh shit. Try to cover my plate up, it's covered in dust. Get the ambient happening. There we go. Da -da. Oh yeah boy, nice. See how that frying pan's on that rock there? Yeah, it worked the right, eh? Too. Pretty perfect. That bloody thing's very narrow, my cooker. Doing a good job. Not easy, is it? Not easy. Someone's got to do it. Now you've got a seat too. Oh, it's been. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you couldn't do it. Hell yeah. On the knees. Oh, yeah. Bloody knees. And cut. I was going to get a, uh, bring some sauce up, but in the container I was thinking, oh, I can, more extra weight. Mm, Would have been great. Just got a meat patty burger. That's it. Look at that. 
That's what I'm cooking. Maybe an egg. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah cooking with gas. I'm trying to film with one hand and still not quite level, as you can all see. There we go. Oh, that's it. A measly old hamburger. We got here is a uh, egg container from Adrian from Wish, was it? Yeah. And um, six, twelve, twenty. And I've always used little containers, but this this looks pretty good, like a little suitcase. You can like maybe chickens used to carry it like this. <laughs> like a suitcase. Oh, you right, burger? Oh, it's a bit burnt. Yeah, oh, that's a bit of weird here. Yeah. <laughs> can, can you have it caramelized? <laughs> Meat patty. <laughs> so put the old famous blue plate up here. Look, look at that. Oh, perfect. So we're going to put an egg with it. My burger. I'm going to. I think I'll fry the bun too. I'll cut that in half. Put the bun in as well. I put no sauce because I had no room in my pack. Dumbass. But we're going to buy sachet of sauce. Just talking to Adrian. Sachet of sauces would be better. Perfect. <laughs> They'll probably be cooked now, so we're going to put them into the old bowl. Sunny side down. Yep. So here we are. Bit of a. Oh, it's cool and blue material right there. But my egg's not on the inside of my patty, it's on the outside, look. Oh, perfect. Not one of my finest creations. And one of my worst either. Oh, look, my patty's not even in, the, <laughs> even in there. You stuffed it up now. Oh, I mean. Oh, it was a, buddy, a bit of a mess. This, yeah, not one of my finest creations. Ooh. No cheese, no tomato, no blooming tomato sauce. Sad, extremely sad guy. How much was that camera like? That camera was near 900. Yeah, it's an old one, but the first one I had was the same as that one. And I was going to buy the next model, but because it had a mic input, but it had triple autofocus. No, you get hot soon. I'll take it, just in case you need it. Mm. Yum, yum. Couple bit of a night, bit of a night hunt to see what's around. Yeah, rock in the middle there, up that yeah. down the tree. It was just 20 metres below that in the middle, and it walked into those just side. Sure it was, was it Adrian, was sure it was. <laughs> It was a hind apparently, a yeah, 10 yeah. foot hind. Yeah, yeah. I can see my naked eye. Oh, it's super bad. I think it's still there.
Oh, I see it, yeah. I see it. It's got his back, his butt towards us. Yeah, I saw his antlers here. There he is. No, he's not. There he is. These tabs, if you look at that. Yeah. These tabs glow in the dark. They were really good. Are reflective, I mean. Even the strings, too. So we come back here. You could, you could see it when we're walking up. Reflective. The ambience there, Adrian. It's so good. Lovely spot. Fishing with this fern on the ground. Yeah, way better, eh? Like an axe used to carpet. You can just reckon hang that in, in a newspaper. Put a newspaper, yeah. Hang it over that. You got, you got, oh, you can just leave it on there, a newspaper. It's cool enough. It is, eh? Yeah. Cool on the rock. Or yeah. Other stuff. Probably cooler on there than in, in there. Yeah. You got some spare news over here? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, so I had this uh, battery on me. I could have changed the batteries. I could have filmed a bit more of that deer. I didn't know I had it. It's a bit of Two batteries in one day. I think I filmed too much burger. <laughs> not enough, not enough bloody action shots. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys, but you know. We were on 90%. So I was going to have a, yeah, a cup of tea or coffee and uh, my battery's charging up there 
Got the batteries charging up and uh, we might call that a night very successful night that one so it's been a really good day an awesome first day today love this little camping area definitely come here again and uh and last sort of walk around the corner adrian just had a couple of shots got the deer the last shot there and didn't film it you know i can't film the kill shot and put it on youtube because i get people get upset so but i'll show some other bit of blood okay thanks good shot adrian here he is. Oh, we're done soon. Sign off for the night. Good night, people. See, down. see you guys in the morning. Look at those things glowing on there. You guys can't see it on this camera. It doesn't pick it up. There it is. So, catch you guys in the morning. A little thingy magic. <sighs> Half. Halfway? Yeah. I used it last time I came up. Two nights. Oh, is that wind? Oh yeah, that foamy was good, Adrian. Should have put the foamy up. There's so much room in here. I'm recording you. And watching you at the same time. Turn my light on and I can really see you. Look. You can look at that. Do some sit ups. Ready? One. One. But. Oh. If I go like this. Uh oh. Let me find the zip. Look. Yeah. You know, going to put a peg out or anything? No. Just put it out. Put it down. And you guys, Adrian, off to bed. I'm just trying it out. Oh. Oh, Adrian, where are you? Ah, oh, shit! Yeah, must have gone on my face. <laughs>